Hello. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how you can protect your upper respiratory system, so your lungs and your sinuses, from inflammation that's going out of hand or from infection. So two very important factors. Now in a previous video I spoke about fabric face masks and I want to remind you of one important thing. You're wearing the fabric face mask to protect the people around you. It acts as a barrier, it collects droplets that you're producing when you're sneezing, when you're coughing, when you're speaking. And those droplets may be carrying bacteria or virus. So it acts as a barrier, it collects that and prevents it from spreading outwards. All right. So what can you do to protect yourself? Okay, so I'm going to give you some supplement recommendations. And also we can talk a little bit about some lifestyle changes you may want to consider. All right, so number one on my supplement list is N-acetylcysteine, N-A-C or NAC for short. Now it's a very potent antioxidant um, and its claim to fame in the lungs is that it does two major things. One is it regulates inflammation, so we want inflammation but we don't want it to go out of hand. And two, it acts as an expectorant and an expectorant means it liquefies mucus. So we need mucus in our lungs but if we have too much mucus and we can't eliminate it properly that becomes an issue or if the mucus hardens and we can't break it down and expectorate or get rid of it, then that also becomes an issue. So NAC is protecting your lungs from inflammation and infection. Now it's very easy to do. There are a couple of supplement companies that make therapeutic doses in a single capsule. One is the Canprev company. Their product is called NAC Plus, and it is a combination of principally NAC at a therapeutic dose at 600 milligrams, plus some additional antioxidants to improve the function of the NAC, so it kind of amplifies it. And then the second company uh, is AOR, and they also have just a purely NAC supplement in capsules. Now you can just take one capsule a day every day, and you're helping to regulate inflammation and mucus production in your lungs and your sinuses okay and just a, a mention honorable mention there AOR also makes a product called the healthy lungs and that actually has some additional ingredients to help with lung support as well in addition to a good therapeutic dose of the NAC so that's a wonderful formula to use especially if you are prone to inflammation in your lungs if you have asthma if you have allergies or any sort of inflammatory related condition when it comes to your lungs all right Number two on my list of supplements is a medicinal mushroom called cordyceps. Now cordyceps um, does a couple of things. One is that it helps to increase oxygen utilization by up to 40% in some cases. So it helps our lungs to be more efficient in utilizing oxygen. Two, it has inflammation control benefits. And three, it's an immune modulator, so it helps to balance your immune system so that you have the appropriate immune response, not too high, not too low, right? So you're, you're getting good inflammation, not too much, and then once the tissues inside the lungs have healed, that the inflammation calms back down again. All right, so um, the company that I like recommending most when it comes to medicinal mushrooms is a company called Purica. They provide us with certified organic medicinal mushrooms. They don't put binders or fillers in their capsules. Their capsules are veggie caps, so very clean, very good quality and the Purica supplement is also very very easy to use you normally just do a few capsules a day and you're there and because it's a medicinal mushroom you don't have to eat with it you can take it on an empty stomach if you want and it's safe to use with your other supplements okay number two oh sorry number three gosh I'm losing track number three on my list is something called specialized pro resolving mediators and that is a specific product that comes from the metagenics company and its principal job is to make sure that when we produce inflammation we produce enough of it okay so there's like, there's like a, a range as you have an inflammatory response and then the inflammation is supposed to resolve so once everything has been cleared up and your immune system has done its job and things are starting to heal then your inflammation levels are supposed to drop off now in some cases this is not happening and the inflammation is just ramping up and getting out of control so SPMs help to ensure that the inflammation goes through that whole process and at the very end that it resolves all right so it helps to control that excessive inflammatory response 
So that is something that you can take preventatively over the long term. And especially if you already have pre-existing inflammatory conditions like osteoarthritis or, or rheumatism or anything like that or any sort of inflammatory related health condition so that is a supplement that's actually sourced from uh, fish and they're using small fish so to make sure that there are no contaminants from the environment and then all the oils are purified as well and they come in soft gel capsules so they're tiny they're like pea size so they're super super easy to use and you can use that on a daily basis to help with making sure that you have a healthy appropriate inflammatory response okay and then lastly supplements i'm going to talk about a nasal spray so you need to make sure that your sinus passages and your nasal cavities are properly hydrated that they're not dried out because mucus provides a barrier to protect us from you know bacteria or virus entering our system it kind of captures it so there's a product from the Vogel company and they have it, it's called dry nose. So it's pretty easy to spot on the shelves um, and you use it, you can do it a couple of times a day and it has hyaluronic acid in it. And hyaluronic acid helps with lubricating membranes, helps those membranes to hold on to lubrication. So a well lubricated nasal cavity is a well protected nasal cavity. So you can do a couple of sprays in each nostril before you put your face masks on and then maybe do it again at night before you go to bed. So lubrication, mucus, very important, too much, not so good. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna talk a little bit about is lifestyle changes. Now, as a result of making sure that you need good lubrication in your nasal cavities, consider using a humidifier um, in your sleeping area. You need a little bit of humidity. You don't want the air to be too dry. And I know at this time of year, um, you may be wanting to turn on your air conditioning units. And even in the winter time when we have heating units, that can tend to dry out the air. And then your nasal passages are gonna get dry and then there's gonna be a problem with increasing your risk of infection. So consider using a humidifier, especially where you're sleeping. All right. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and yes, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post new videos. Have a wonderful day and keep well.